Hey, this is Paul with Team Fat Boys today. I got with me Nick Wellen. Um, how old are you, Nick? Thirteen. Thirteen years old. And uh, we brought him out here to Silver Lake to fish today. And we're going to see if we can get him catching some fish. And uh, it's supposed to be 90 degrees today. And uh, I don't know how long we're going to stay out here. I guess as long as they're biting, we'll try it. So, With that being said, let's get to some fishing. A little bully. There you go. Hang on. He's a big one. Really, don't let him loose. Don't give him no loose line. Pull him in. Just take your time with him. Take your time with him. See on there? Reel it in. Give him loose line, he'll spit that hook out. Pull him up. See what he looks like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got the bigger one. Alright, bring him up to the net. Bring him up a little higher. Hold up, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Don't reel him in yet. Okay, pull him up. Try to net him again. Start reeling him. Crank down, but down crank. Crank it, go down, come back up. There you go. I guess we have to drop one that big. Ah. I'm lying. <laughs> He's huge. Can I keep him? If he's under 10. What if he's over 10? If he's over 10, he goes back. Why is it that's, that's the rules in my boat. Because you got one big. No. Your biggest one was 10. He's huge. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I gotta wash the. Get the. Uh, <laughs> give, me a, give me your towel so I can get the water off my camera. Alright, he finally got that fish in. We got it weighed. Put it up Put it up there high, Nick. 9.62 was it? Mm -hmm. And 28 inches long. Nice channel cat. It's under 10. He wants to eat it, so that's, uh, that's going to go in the cooler. And, uh, Anything over 10 pounds will go back into the lake. It's close, but no cigar. Nick's used to skinning catfish, and he doesn't really know how to clean a big one like this. So I'm going to show him an easy way to clean the catfish. So next time he catches a big one, he'll know exactly how to do it, and he'll know that he doesn't have to skin it. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to feel for the rib cage. There's the last rib. I'm going to cut into the fish, go along the bone, there's our first slab, then I'm going to go for the back meat, comes all the way up the back. Along the rib, and 
Then we'll work on the other side. Put the end fuel down for the last rib. Cut down. You can kind of zoom in and zoom back out. There's a second side. And again, we're going to cut right down along the rib meat. On the big cat, can't forget the belly meat. That's a big old piece of belly meat right there. I'm going to go just in front of these fins because there's bones there. There's belly meat. There's the back piece I cut along the rib. That. Flip it over. Come back on the back side. This is the side meat. I'm going to go down about halfway down the fillet. Turn the blade. And what I do is I kind of chunk these a little bit so. I'm going to end up cutting them in strips anyway, so they fry evenly. This is just an easier way so you can get a hold of that meat. You do the back side. The last size. This was a 9.62 pound channel cat. Usually turn everything loose like five pounds or so in the spawn. But in post spawn, I will keep anything under 10. And Nick here is from Texas, and he ain't had no good old catfish in a long, long time. So basically that's it. It's all done. Now what we're going to do is go inside. We're going to size it a little bit, add some salt water, and then we're going to fry them up.